the inverter is going to change the power to AC here, and then the AC is going to run the going to run the saw. So the power to the saw is coming out of the 240 volt of the uh, of the inverter. Here's the power meter. Here's the plug. You can actually watch the power here as I'm running the saw. I'm going to cut again. Now, with all that, that's one device. Now, the mess that we've made there will now connect a uh, 1300 watt um, vacuum cleaner to clean up the mess that we've made here in the test bay. So we plug that in, we turn the vacuum cleaner on. In these two videos, we've run the load on resistive load, which is just these heaters. We've run it on our motor, which is the saw there. That saw is a uh, 800 watts uh, power rated um, saw. And then we've run it off a 1300 watt uh, vacuum cleaner, and there's been absolutely no problem. Voltage stays steady, current, current delivery is no problem. And uh, it just shows you the variety of product that the inverter can run on. Yep. Okay, we're now going to check the inverter, which is a 3000 watt inverter, inverter running off 24 volts, inverting to 240 volt power there. And then we're going to try and run this, uh, this wall air conditioner off it. Um, we've got the air conditioner set to cool, and we'll just show you that the air conditioner is cooling. And then we'll measure the wattage at the watt meter coming out of the inverter. And you'll see, hopefully, that it that the inverter is supplying the uh, wall air conditioner satisfactorily. So I'm going to turn it on now. So we've had it cooling for a little while, and there's cool air coming out of here. I can feel it. Temperature over here is about 29 degrees. We've got about. Uh, 500 and 560 watts going into the uh, wall air conditioner. We've got the wall air conditioner set to thermostat set to as cool as possible, and the temperature has dropped to about uh, it's about 21, 20 degrees coming out of the air conditioner, so that's working quite well. The 3000 watt unit is supplying the air conditioner quite comfortably, starts easy. I'll check, check it again. I'll let the machine completely stop and then we'll do a, do a, uh, a start from nothing. Compressors stop now. So there's the inrush current effect. You can hear the inverter working down here. Power is gradually coming up to around about 610 watts. Fan initially cut in, now the fan's turned off, mainly because it's only delivering a small power. The fan will cycle as, as the power requirements are needed. So uh, this is not a big load in this uh, sine wave, um, so pure sine wave inverter charger. So that's just another product. We've we've done the uh, saw, we've done the vacuum cleaner, and we've done the um, the wall air conditioner. And as you can see, that there's the temperature. It's 19, 18 degrees coming out of the now 17 degrees coming out of the uh, the wall air conditioner. So it just shows you the variety of products that the inverter can power, uh, as well as the normal type of things.
But of course, the main things that I've, we've tried to prove is the inductive loads, which are motor loads, compressor loads. So that's quite interesting. So I'll turn that off now.